What's up guys, it's Griffin and today I'm finally doing another tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to do displacement in Photoshop. So this is a really cool effect. I have an example open right here. I'm going to show you guys what this is. I'm going to zoom in. As you guys can see, I have some like glitch effects on the text and then up here there's some glitch effects right there and right there. And yeah, that's pretty much what displacement is. It kind of like messes with your picture and kind of distorts it a little bit. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. So I'm going to close out of this. I'm just going to open an AVI that I, I've done before. Um, my Photoshop is really slow on this computer. Sorry about that. So here's just an example AVI without displacement. And I'm going to add displacement to this. So how displacement works is it uses a picture that you have on your computer. And um, I'm just going to show you guys really quick. So let's say I want to use those settings, click OK. You're going to need a picture that Photoshop is going to use to distort your, uh, or whatever you're distorting. So in my opinion, the most useful thing you can do with displacement is a glitch effect. So I'm going to look up glitch effect on Google Images. Oh, wait. glitch effect. Uh, then just find one that you like. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm going to use this one. This one is pretty cool. So I'm going to right click, copy image, open Photoshop back up, go file, new. And then right now you don't need to mess with your settings because after you copy an image, Photoshop will copy those dimensions of that picture if you try to open a new document. So I'm just going to press enter and control V to paste that picture down to your document. So that's all you need to do for the like the picture that you're going to use. So I'm going to do control S to save it. Uh, I'm going to save it as glitch. Oh, it's frozen. Oh, never mind. Uh, glitch displacement effect and OK. And now we can close out of that. Okay, and now we're going to get right into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this AVI that we have right here by doing Control J because you'll see why we need it eventually after we've done the displacement. So now let's start doing the displacement. So I'm going to go Filter, Distort, Displace. Um, I, think, I think 4 and 4 are some good settings. It really depends on the dimensions of, of whatever you're working with. So be sure to experiment it and find out what settings you like. So I'm going to do 4 and 4 and press OK. And I'm going to open my glitch displacement effect that I just uh, created. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention the glitch effect that you're going to that you saved before. It has to be a PSD file or else Photoshop won't be able to use it. So yeah, I've done my displacement effect now. Now we're going to use our rectangular marquee tool. And we're just going to find some spots that we see, that we think the displacement looks nice in. So this looks pretty nice. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to select that one. Uh, okay, and now after you've done that first selection, we're going to hold shift and then do our other uh, selection. So as you can see, if you do another selection without holding shift, that one will go away. So you're going to have to hold shift after that first one. So I'm going to do this part over here. That looks cool. And some of that, maybe this part too, and now I'm going to do some of the text. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay. All right. So everything outside of those selections that we just made will be deleted after what we're about to do. So. Just go ahead and right click inside one of your selections that you've made, then do select inverse. So now it's selecting everything outside of those selections that you made. And then we're going to click delete on our keyboard to delete whatever we didn't select. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do the displacement effect. I really like this effect. I think it looks the best on AVIs, which is what I just did it to. And you should also do it to banners and headers too, especially if you're making like a glitch style. I think it looks really sick. So 
that's it for the, today's tutorial. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and comment, and also subscribe for more uploads in the future. I'm out. Peace.